This video is for you anglers who don't stop fishing when you go on vacation. If you love going on trips with your family, but also love to fish in and explore new areas, then hopefully this will give you an idea of how you can do both at the same time. In this video, we ventured just outside of Utah for spring break in Arizona. We caught some really cool fish out of some unexpected places. If you're watching this video for the fishing action, then just skip ahead in the video to about the four minute mark. But before we get to the fishing, I'll give you a glimpse of what it was like for my family to stay at the Great Wolf Lodge in Scottsdale, Arizona. You boys ready to have some fun? Yeah. Great Wolf Lodge! You ready for some Great Wolf Lodge, buddy? Yeah. Where are you going, Tyler? There they are. Wow. Go through. I'm too big. Wow, Tyler, check out that cliff, man. We're on spring break this week and my family is staying at the Great Wolf Lodge in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, the Arizona Canal is just one of the places that is closest to the lodge to try fishing. So we have a spare hour or so, decided to come down here and see if there's any good fishing and give you an update. I'm gonna start with some white bread. I'm just gonna squish that up on the hook into a ball and leave part of the Gonna leave part of the hook out. Okay, so I got something big. I had to move to another spot where there's moving water and pretty much instantly got a bite. It's taking me downstream. I don't know what it is and I hope I can get it up because it is very steep on the sides here. This actually looks like a big old striper, which is crazy. I don't know if my 
line. I have 12 pound test on. I hope it's strong enough to get this thing out. Oh, he's gonna break off. This is not good. Not good. I forgot my long net. All days to not have it. This is bad. I have no idea if this is normal for the Arizona Canal, but man, check that guy out. I literally had to lay on my stomach, pull him up with the line as far as I could without putting all the weight on the line. So I kind of leaned him against that bank and I had to reach down as far as I could, pull him up, but I barely got him. That's what he had done to the hook by the time I finally got him in. Bent it totally out. Crazy. My first cast, I get one. This is probably my fifth cast. Another striper. For the stripers, I used a pink jig hook tipped with a worm and fished about four feet under a bobber. Wrong, especially in this current, they're really using it to their advantage. This one feels smaller. I might just try my luck on this one since I already got one, see if I can just pull it out of the water. It does look smaller. Man, there's just, I'm gonna have to bring my boys here in the morning. This one I did measure and it is 21 inches, so the other one was bigger. After fishing the canal a few times, we went to a place called Chaparral Park, which was only about a seven minute drive from the lodge. We started by fishing with white bread and worms to try our luck at catching a big carp. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to help us make more videos like this one, follow us on Patreon and Instagram where you can get more details on fishing in Utah. You can find links to our social media pages in the description below this video.